In today's video we have got some pretty great stuff to talk about, it's gaming news just how I like them, it's new games and it goes right to the point. First off we have details on what we'll be up to in the world of Stalker 2, which by the way is looking absolutely crazy, also the official E3 2021 trailer of Small Land, a massive open world game on a tiny scale that was actually in the works before Grounded was even announced, and finally a new Souls-like game that received its new trailer. So without further ado, let's get into it right away. Stalker 2 was undeniably one of the best game reveals of this year's E3. I mean come on, most of the event except the Xbox showcase was pretty boring so it already didn't have a lot of competition. Still, for me this well made gameplay reveal is going up there among some of the best I've seen in the last couple of years and I've never fully played a stalker game so this is coming from a new fan. The reveal showed meticulously made graphics with insane details, beautiful animations as well as some awesome gameplay action and what seemed to be an intriguing story thanks to a Leon-like character for explaining this. Since a lot of people weren't expecting a full-blown gameplay like this from the project so soon, not many websites or journalists or YouTubers talked about the game's latest interviews, which reveals quite a lot of details that we're gonna get into in this video. Stalker 2 is officially releasing on April 28th of 2022 on Xbox and PC, but it also confirmed that no later than 3 months after its release, Stalker 2 will be coming to PlayStation 5, which is pretty good news. The game is about 10 months away from release and we have details from its massive open world, what will be happening in it, the atmosphere and more, so let's get into it right away. Thanks to GamingBolt.com and its interviews for all of these interesting details. First off, they go on by asking the developers, with Stalker 2 promising a branching story, how radically can players expect their actions to affect the narrative and how it plays out, to which they replied with, Without saying too much for now, let's put it this way, it is absolutely impossible to see everything in one run, as there is so many things out there and so many random things happening that'll keep us on our toes. The player will need several playthroughs to see all the story content and the content in general, which sounds huge and exactly what this sequel needed in my opinion. It needs to be as good as people say is the first one. They go on to say that Stalker 2 and the series as a whole as well is about being small and almost helpless in the utterly stressful and dangerous conditions, fighting with death every second, knowing that if you die, the zone wouldn't even notice it and nothing will change. Immersive sim elements in Stalker 2 are about making you feel like that person. You're not that important in the world and it's not and will never be centered on you. Every person has a routine or might get into a fight while you're not even there to witness it. The story itself might take longer to finish if you haven't gone by that place in time and etc. Stalker 2 overall is mostly about the new story and they can't tell it without the open world. The player needs to feel the scale and the outcomes of his decisions. It is a long way so it can land an impact. They also didn't tell us that yet but a lot of characters in Stalker 2 will have different faith depending on what you say or do and if you like them or not. You can decide what you want to do with them. The game right now is a massive journey with its own pace and outcomes. Also, it's about seeing the zone in her renewed beauty. The seamless open world is a thing the series always aim for. Hopefully, the players will enjoy both the story and the world they're crafting. They're highly special for us, the developers said. Then they go on to confirm Stalker 2 is an extremely long game even if you only do the main missions. It's a very long game even if you decide to follow only the main quest. Hundreds of hours can be spent if you want to do more exploration and side quests. Even then, the side quests have their own story that can go on for a long time, so there's always plenty of things to do in this open world. It's pretty dangerous out there, but you can also find places that are more relaxing and talk with others around a fire, which there will be many fires around, which is a classic return for the Stalker series. I absolutely cannot wait to play this. Next up, we have got the official E3 2021 gameplay trailer for Smallland, a game which was in development before Grounded existed. I'm saying this because I know the comments will only talk about that. In small land, explore the vast land of the small, traverse lake-sized puddles, scale skyscrapers-sized trees, battle or tame creatures, 
discover the dense dark forest and the strange metallic monolith left over from before. Discover hidden resources and craft armor, weapons and shelters and more. Build an encampment and upgrade it into a settlement. Collect customizable outfits and armor that not only provide you with resistance and abilities, but also allow you to personalize as you team up with friends in a co-op PvE environment. Survive the dangers of small lands world from the living animals to the changing weather. Most of the creatures you encounter will see you as lower on the food chain, like birds, rats, lizards, and spiders will all see you as a tasty food source. Weather conditions and the seasons in the game are in constant flux. This not only affects your health, but also dynamically changes the flora and the fauna of the world, which sounds pretty exciting. If you want to survive for another day, preparation is key. Here's the game's main features. It's a huge open sandbox world to explore from a tiny perspective. You can build bases and shelters with a host of upgrades and customizations anywhere you want. It can be on the side of a tree or on a lake and etc. You'll also discover the lore behind Smallland through quests and the hidden NPCs scattered throughout the world. Finally, the game features dynamic weather and random events that organically create other situations or fortunate events. Let me know what you think of it. Finally, we have Themisia, which just received a new trailer that shows exactly everything we need to know about this Souls-like fighting game. Themisia is a grueling action RPG with fast-paced combat and an intricate plague weapon system. In a kingdom where death spreads, play as a mysterious character known by the core name Corvus. Prey upon your enemies, wield the power of disease, and find the truth in your own memories. In Themisia, a kingdom once thriving on the power of alchemy enters an age of calamity. After discovering the Price behind alchemy, an attempt to stop the use of it backfired. Within a few days, the kingdom was in chaos and the streets infested with monsters. The key to understanding all of this is in Corvus' hands, but he has lost his memory. The truth can only be found within his memories, but every time he dives back in, he only finds more secrets. In this game, you'll seize the disease from gruesome bosses and wield them as weapons. You'll also give them a taste of their own medicine. This is the only way to survive this desolate kingdom. You'll be able to shift into your raven form during battle, throw your feathers like daggers, and execute enemies with the swiftness of a raptor, upgrade and modify your basic movements and plague weapons. You can also build your very own playstyle and prepare for the challenges in your way. Recover your memories through adventures. With different choices you've made and items you've collected, you'll get different endings. You can literally stitch together your own truth, which sounds really cool for a game like this, as I've never really seen a Souls-like game with completely different endings, or at least something like this. Let me know if that do exist in other Souls-like game in the comments. Alright guys, that is pretty much all for today's gaming news. For more just like this, of course, subscribe subscribe to stay tuned and I'll talk to you all very soon. Thanks to Richard Westfall, Bruce Wayne 236, Thunderbeard, Kian Zofagari, Rickno 23, Diamond Hunter 45, Themistocles, Space Beer Gaming, and Rush Shingbati for being a master member on the channel. You can become a survivor member for as low as 99 cents only by clicking the join button below. This will support me and the channel as a whole to continue making videos on the games that truly deserve it.